Маскову мужца. Keeping people out here all about his hernia. The inspector wants to see you. What about? I'll be right there. Ain't gonna be no berries for putting up this fall. Spring frost, you know. Killed all the flowers. My wife, six kids, all hungry. How much, Napoleon? Five. Five? God bless you. No. Bless you. You don't get that back to me next payday. You best have froze your own personal pin cherries so you don't feel the toe of my boot when you get it. That's all we need. Engine slaughtering department cars at will. We've got to make an example of him. Stop it now. You patrol, Sergeant Grant. Yes, sir. Sounding Sky encourages the boy to ignore the law. And spreads gossip about me all the time. Yes, yes, I know. And he will have to learn to herd according to rules. I understand, sir. The offense is serious, remember that. Dismiss. It was the inspector's orders to bring him back, and that's what we're gonna do. Orders don't make no sense. Well, you're welcome to your opinion. But this is my patrol. We're gonna bring him back. Jesus, you're stubborn. If you was to drown, they'd find your body upstream. Bringing in one Cree boy is about as dangerous as picking up a crocus. Mm. Here's their evidence. So they be needing that when they have their trial. It was our cow I killed. That was a department herd cow. Slaughtering one of them is a felony. You've got to get proper permission from Mr. Ballantyne. You know that. Being hungry tells us better. It's time to kill our cow. All that hurt is the queen's cattle. The queen forgot to burn her brand, crown, and scepter on that one. This is no time for mockery. You will have to stand trial. Yeah, huh? A proper trial and doesn't rot in a hole like a dead gopher. You know the law, almighty voice. Trouble, you know that. You're under arrest. So make it easier on us and them. You just take your medicine like a man. Go on now. Could have shot you, Dan. Nope, because your dad had the drop on him right from the start. Many birds was here, Almighty Voice was here, Downing Sky was up here, and just around the teepee, come rolling grass. And your dad put easy, his hand easy, on the... Easy, easy now. Not so dramatic. Will you have some of this? No, I'm saving this. So he killed the cow, his own cow, because he didn't have food. Indian agency cow, love. <laughs> Department <laughs> herd. Maybe they are hungry. There is so little to hunt now. They'll have to learn to herd, or they will starve. Such a cruel country. Once you get to know it, where he's gentle. You ever look in the throat of a tiger, Lily? First freckles ever saw in my life. Down the soft yellow throat of a tiger, Lily. <laughs> the sky. Very sky. Once I dumped six bags of blue in my ma's tub, just to see if I could get that blue. 
Blue or gray sky. Didn't you get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, I got that too. I did. <laughs> I think before you have ideas like this, it's time for bed, Eddie. Boy? Oh, yes? You promised me that you would tell me about... Edouard? Mm -hmm. Edouard? Do what your mother tells you. Please. I'll talk to you. Do you mind? No. Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. I'll give you till I count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Dad, I'm in bed. I'm halfway up. So I says to him, Chief Weaseltail, you don't believe Dan Candy, and you round up every buffalo for a hundred miles around, round them up, and head them straight for that cliff. Is there a lot of them? Thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands. More than you ever seen in your whole life. Thicker than grasshoppers, tit swinging cows with their calves bellowing after him, necker knocking old bulls, roaring so sure. You could hardly hear yourself think. And dust, dust lifted up out of there. It made it like night for 50 miles around. How could you see? Their eyes. Red lights shining through the dust. Bloodshot eyes, glitter up. And the smell. Smell. Smelt like the inside of a blacksmith shop with a million blacksmiths chewing a million horses. Cause on account of them running so fast, their hooves were smoking. And they hit the edge of that cliff where the where the fence squeezed them together like that. And they went tumbling over the edge. And there came a hissing and a blowing and a holler and come out of there. And a big cloud of steam come up. Steam? Red hot hoofs hitting the creek steam, scalded 15 Indian braves and the ponies to death. Rest got caught in a blizzard. Blizzard? Mud the blizzard. Your steam rises. It's going to hit all of that dust up there. Dust's going to turn to mud. Your mud's generally heavier than your air, so she's going to come down. That's how come. Chief Weasel Tail. Give me this magic vest. He's doing the jailhouse dance. Yes, his chain's too short. He probably can't lie down to sleep. Hey, nobody lose his chain. Lose it. Where's my coat? I'll get it. Careful, he's kind of jumpy out there. Is that your beard? Drinking. You know something about this I ought to know. Glad you appreciate it. Come on now. Fella. Him and me is gonna haul out of here. You go get your shut eye. We are going to Sadie's and surprise the girl. That Indian escaped, Sergeant. Oh, for the love of each. What are you going to do that for, stupid? Where's Malcolm? Couldn't find you. He went after him with the scout. Well, where'd he go? The reserve, I guess. Uh, stupid Indian. Well, mount up. Sergeant Grant found out about Candy taking off them jeans. He's madder than hell. Yeah, that kid. He's always getting away with this. Must have been so drunk, son of a bitch probably unlocked the door himself. Yeah.
gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! came out to this wild prairie from a Christian home in the east, and he gave his life here. Almighty voice, come on now, lad. You must come with me. The law is clear. It's better for you if you come without trouble. He gave it bravely and unselfishly in the execution of his duty for the high purpose of justice the very foundation stones of civilization. Don't make it more difficult for yourself. Put down that gun. And then Martha said unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died, insomuch as it pleases our Lord in his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother Malcolm here departed. We commit his body to the ground in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Tell Almighty Voice, I'm going to bring him in. I'm going to see him dance at the end of a rope. You'll have to catch him. I'll catch him. I'll be at his funeral. Maybe not. Come on like some coyote after guts. You don't need your pity. If there's anything I can do, around the house, city, all you have to do is holler. I guess you'll be leaving soon. What? Well, away from here. You want Eddie? No. Excuse me. Somebody over the place is going to look at the shirt. How come he killed my father? Dad was a, your dad was a laughing man. How, how old are you now, Eddie? You're nine, are you? Ten in November. We, we came out to Prairies when I was ten, in, uh, in 68, middle of summer. Gosh, she was hot. She, she, steaming hot. Tar paper, roof on the outhouse. All bubbled up. Wispy sort of smoke coming off her. So sticky. Dumb fool old crow got herself stuck up in it, hawing and a cawing and a... Inside of 10 minutes, whole flock of crows circling around the way they, way they do when, when one's in trouble. And before you knew it, the whole roof was stuck up with crows, you know. Poor wings flapping, something fearful. 
If you're out host, sort of lifting up, settling. My mom come out and yelled, get the axe. I got it and cut the outhouse loose from the uprights and away she went, up over the barn, heading south. And I looked back and I looked back to where she'd been and, and there, there, was, there was my dad. He was sitting there. <laughs> he was laughing to beat the band, his trousers down around his ankles. And that, that's how I remember him. So I, I remember him laughing, you know, it. you're dead. You're You have to let me go after him, sir. I don't have to do anything. A good man is dead. I would gladly see you in front of a firing squad. But I want that engine in my jail even more. Constable, dismiss. I should be recommending dishonorable discharge. Not just the motion. Have you seen Mr. Wong a quince come on? I've hooked up in a dog. There you are, what? Ringer, you combed through this reserve like you was looking for lice. Yes, sir. You've had lice, haven't you? Yes, sir. That's how I want you to look. You warned me you wouldn't be able to track a fleeting elephant through a fresh fall of snow. Well, I'm warning you. I'll count on you. Sir, yes, sir. He's here, isn't he? I know he is. He wouldn't leave without her. Did you tell him he's going to get hung? I hope you did. To me as the floor. I'd still like to know about the town sprinkler and when we can depend on the honey wagon. Here, here. Why don't we get rid of that bear? This is a protest meeting. This is a meeting of concerned citizens, Ezra. Nobody's mad at anything. Ralph, you call it whatever you want to call it. I want to hear what the man has to say. You'll be heard. Well, I see the inspectors come to our meeting. Would you like to come up front, Inspector? Make no mistake about it. A situation like this can get out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What I want to say is that I personally don't like the idea of sending a man like Dan Candy to arrest that almighty voice. All right, Mr. Crumbie. With all due respect to you and Mr. Mayor, I think I'd better speak to this meeting before you go any further. Or answer some questions. Oh, yeah. Think how come Kenny ain't in jail? This is a mounted police matter. Damn right it is. But we are the law in the Northwest Territories. And it is for us to apprehend an almighty voice. What the hell are you? Goddamn pyromaniac. The fire. Why don't you shoot your gun off a few times? Wave your arms and holler. Sorry, sir. Oh, don't make no, never mind. You probably know anyhow. Sir, the family are refusing to cooperate and all. Why don't we go and arrest them all? Bell Ringer, you could hang them upside down over an open fire and they'd roast alive before they tell you. 
Yes, sir. Nothing. I'll keep looking. He's around. You may use that chair. the girl. She's right here.
<laughs> Get out. Where you come from, Bellringer? I was born in Goderich, Ontario, sir. Well, being from down east, you wouldn't know about them. Horse beetles. What, sir? They come out on the prairie at night when she cools off. Nocturnial horse beetles. Even if you keep your eyes peeled for them, they get right by you. Eat under the frog of a horse's foot. Can eat right through an entire horse overnight while you're sitting there. The man we're after is a Cree. Cree's have got that horse beetle talent. Don't take it personal. Harold, isn't it? Yes, sir. Sir, if you order out patrols to hit at Lacorn, not Lake, one arrow. Well, that could move him down into Batoche. They'd be waiting for him there. Sir? Sit down, the boat of you. Sir, there's no food out there. I can't see him running around shooting his gun off every time he gets hungry if there's patrols out. We can't waste special patrols. Keep them racing away from one reserve to the other just because you think it might flash him out into the open. Well, regular patrols in. Every outpost has been notified with full description. I think he's probably gone from here anyway now, sir. He's not. I'm almost convinced of it. No rational man would take such foolish risk. He was right there, 15 feet away. We almost had him. Report to the barracks. Sir, permission to go back out. Get some rest first. I'm fine. I don't have the men to spare for this. They're all out. And I need Bellringer here. I'll go alone. Get in. Hey, let me see that beauty. And hey, look at your knife. Nice. Good weight to it. Keep oil on it, huh? No. Will you look at this snow, eh? Going this early like this. It's gonna be a cold winter. Like the winter 88. You know when snow gets so deep? In the pockets you get a kind of blue shadow. Well, that weren't why the snow was blue in 88. 88. The snow was blue with the cold. I seen a, I seen a coyote, froze stiff, in midair in the running position. And 15 feet up ahead of him, Jack Rabbit he was chasing after. In midair, two hind legs drawn up underneath him, all ready for the next jump. Come string saw, save that Jack Rabbit's life. Why? Well, your Jack Rabbit smaller than your coyote. Saw it out first, give him a head start. Coyote didn't saw it till next day. Do you catch him? Okay. He's going to get away, isn't he? No, he's not. He wants to think that, but he ain't. I swear. I swear. You all right? She got everything she needs? Try and drop by and uh, see her. All right, if I drop by and see her? I don't care what you do.
snowed in till July, right, Constable? You really can't take much more of this. Grant, she, uh, she asked me to give you this. She, uh, well, she was kind of hoping you'd drop by. You know, I think she's, she's got a lot of pluck, you know. Maybe you could go over for just a little while. Anyway, she, uh, she said I should say Merry Christmas. Welcome to Shaven Box. Merry Christmas, Dan. I mean, from me. Merry Christmas.
I'm a hunter. With nothing to hunt. Is he still here? Tell me, damn it. You gotta tell me! CPR Railroad. Mr. Hendrickson, I said head back. We have a schedule. Back. You can't take over this train. The only thing that stops this railroad is the hot box wreck or act of God. Wilfred oh, Hendrickson, you just took on board a one-man act of God. Now you open that throttle. All right. Well, the Pullion Royale. How's your way? Mike, pleased to see you. No red coat anymore? Nope. Don't go with the way I'm living. I heard they hunt those deserters pretty hard. Well, rest your worries, Napoleon. I ain't no deserter. That's good. How much you want? It would really make me sad if they started to hunt you too now. <laughs> make your pocket sad. How much? Maybe two? Maybe. We better figure out how you are ever going to pay me back. Uh, I'll work for you. Just have to ask. Since I come to Duck Lake Post, I have loaned to you, and you have not paid back to me, $22. At constable's pay, assuming you uh, ain't been promoted, constable pay, that will be not counting Sundays and holidays. Roughly speaking, 15 days' work. Well, that's my account. You're going to have to sell it. Well? You have explained it very well. One. One dollar. Take it.
What is it? My map. Duck Lake, Batosh, One Arrow. It's where I've been, where we're going. Looks like we've been all in the same place all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, Jim. Guacamole, muevo. Guacamole. 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 I'm tired, too. Oh, yeah. You still owe me six days, you know. Today we didn't start anywhere, we didn't get anywhere. Well, that means we ain't losing any ground. My horse is confused. It thought we set out for Duck Lake this morning. It thinks they've been riding too long without resting. Get a smarter horse. We ain't gonna get anywhere like this. We've got nothing to show for all this hard riding. Oh, for the law of East Napoleon, you'd rather been coming after us past two days.
master is how you got him out. Sharp, maybe. Sharp. Bulberry thorns. Thorns through their hands, in their feet, through their throats. Trapping them. Trapping them just like they trapped Malcolm. And team. Bulberry thorns all around. Trap them. You're crazy. Let's get out of here. We got them. We got them. I know it. That's what they're going to get. Three white tailed deer looking for a place to sleep. Shut up. Come on. What are you doing? Firewood. Firewood. More fire? I'm sure them bouncing deer are. Let's get them down for the night. You crazy. Bounce some wood. Yourself, uh, I will have you return to the barracks. So Go with Tommy and Oshel. Do. do you swear to uphold the laws of our land? In the Move in quick! He must not escape! Do you swear to uphold the laws of our land?
Ross'ım. Sir, sure, we've been killed. They've all gone crazy. Get them out of here. Let me do it myself. Please control yourself.
thing. Sloppy. Beginning to end. Two dead. Three, sir. Sit, gentlemen. Got the men, horses, and sheer numbers. Mounted, sir? Of course. But in two troops. Either end of the grove. Catch them in the cross charge. Confused. Overwhelm. Gentlemen, thank you. What are the plans now, sir? What are the plans? Use the 79 pounders, of course. No choice. Hmm. All the story, eh, Brizzy Boy? <laughs> See there, set into position. There is no choice. Count the dead and the wounded. Just count them. The decision is made. Sounding sky. What about him, Constable? Let me talk to him. God! Well, it's a chance. Look, there's 47 mounted policemen down there, and special constables all sworn in proper, and half the people in Duck Lake District turn it into a circus. 
Your boys don't have a hope in there. Sounding sky, do it. He's going to use them cannon. They're going to be killed, Sounding Sky. They're going to die. Something must be a good skill. Get them out of there. So that you can hang him? Bastard. Oh.
Dimashko Muscha. Keeping me will have to hear all about his hernia. The inspector wants to see you. What about? I'll be right there. Ain't gonna be no berries for putting up this fall. Spring frost, you know. Killed all the flowers. My wife, six kids, all hungry. How much to pull you? Five. Five? God bless you. No, bless you. You don't get that back to me next payday. You best to froze your own personal pin cherries so you don't feel the toe of my boot when you get it. That's all we need. Engine slaughtering department cars at will. We've got to make an example of him. Stop it now. You patrol, Sergeant Grant. Yes, sir. Sounding Sky encourages the boy to ignore the law. And spreads gossip about me all the time. Yes, yes, I know. And he will have to learn to herd according to rules. I understand, sir. The offense is serious, remember that. Dismiss. It was the inspector's orders to bring him back, and that's what we're gonna do. Orders don't make no sense. Well, you're welcome to your opinion. But this is my patrol. We're gonna bring him back. Jeez, is you stubborn. If you was to drown, they'd find your body upstream. Bringing in one Cree boy's about as dangerous as picking up a crocus. Here's their evidence. Because they'll be needing that when they have their trial. It was our cow I killed. That was a department herd cow. Slaughtering one of them is a felony. You've got to get proper permission from Mr. Ballantyne. You know that. Being hungry tells us better. It's time to kill our cow. All that hurt is the queen's cattle. The queen forgot to burn her brand, crown, and scepter on that one. This is no time for mockery. You will have to stand trial. Yeah, huh? A proper trial and doesn't rot in a hole like a dead gopher. You know the law, almighty voice. You don't want no trouble, you know that. You're under arrest. It'll make it easier on us and them. You just take your medicine like a man.
Could have shot you, Dan. Nope, because your dad had the drop on him right from the start. Many birds was here, Almighty Voice was here, Downing Sky was up here, and just around the teepee, come rolling grass. And your dad put easy, his hand easy, on the... Easy, easy now. Not so dramatic. Will you have some of this? No, I'm saving this. So he killed the cow, his own cow, because he didn't have food. Indian agency cow, love. <laughs> Department herd. Maybe they are hungry. There is so little to hunt now. They'll have to learn to herd, or they will starve. Such a cruel country. Once you get to know it, where he's gentle. You ever look in the throat of a tiger, Lily? First freckles they ever saw in my life. Down the soft yellow throat of a tiger, Lily. <laughs> the sky. Very sky. Once I dumped six bags of blue in, in my ma's tub, just to see if I could get that blue. Blue or prairie sky. Didn't you get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, I got that too. I did. <laughs> I think before you have ideas like this, it's time for bed, Eddie. Boy? Oh, yes? You promised me that you would tell me about... Edouard? Mm -hmm. Edward, do what your mother tells you, please. I'll talk to you. Do you mind? No. Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. I'll give you till I count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Dad, I'm in bed. I'm halfway up. So I says to him, Chief Weaseltail, you don't believe Dan Candy. And you round up every buffalo for a hundred miles around. Round them up and head them straight for that cliff. Is there a lot of them? Thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands. More than you ever seen in your whole life. Thicker than grasshoppers, tit swinging cows with their calves, bellowing after them, necker knocking old bulls, roaring so sure. You could hardly hear yourself think. And dust. Dust. Lift it up out of there. It made it like night for 50 miles around. How could you see? Their eyes. Red lights shining through the dust. Bloodshot eyes lit up. And the smell. Smell. Smelt like the inside of a blacksmith shop with a million blacksmiths shoeing a million horses. Because on account of them running so fast, their hooves were smoking. And they hit the edge of that cliff where the, where the fence squeezed them together like that. And they went tumbling over the edge. And there came a hissing and a blowing and a holler and come out of there and a big cloud of steam come up. Steam? Red hot hoofs hitting the creek steam, scalded 15 Indian braves and the ponies to death. Rest got caught in a blizzard. Blizzard? Mud the blizzard. Your steam rises. Going to hit all of that dust up there. Dust's going to turn to mud. Your mud's generally heavier than your air, so she's going to come down. That's how come. Chief Weasel Tail, give me this magic vest. He's doing the jailhouse dance. Yes, his chain's too short. You probably can't lie down to sleep. Hey, nobody lose his chain, Lucy. Where's my coat? I'll get it. Careful, he's kind of jumpy over there. Is that your beard? 